Hi, this is Burr Stewart, and today's brief video celebrates two different events. One is uh, Brian Etchliff's marvelous super detailing of Burlington Northern Diesels, and the other one is Rapido Train's uh, releasing of the short barrel ore cars, uh, which ran, among other places, north and south through Seattle. But first, let's look at Brian's diesels. You can see here, uh, and I'll show you some detail now, that he has super detailed a uh, BNGP35 here on the left, and a chop-nosed GP39 on the right, number 1702. Well, we'll get to that in a second. First, let's take a look at the details that he's put on this GP35. You can see the five-horn cluster that he's put on the top of the cab. And isn't the weathering of the paint on the front of the nose nice? And the extensive piping that was on this particular unit uh, at the top. It's really beautiful. Um, now on the GP9, the chop nose, you can see some really nice weathering on the side there. Some extra vent louvers they put in after the wreck. As well as the anti-climber that's on the front of the nose. See it there? as well as beautifully weathered top on the low nose there. So Brian brought those engines over here just to see how they would run on a long main line. And I happen to have just taken in some of the new Rapido barrel ore cars, which I had seen during rail fanning, moving back and forth between the British Columbia mines and the Sarko copper smelter in Tacoma, Washington. So we went ahead and hooked his engines up to uh, the new string of cars and pulled them around the layout. Unfortunately, uh, I hadn't inspected these cars yet, so one of them had a, a low coupler which uh, ended up causing a few problems, which you'll see. But you, this is reality model railroading, and we show it like it is. Anyway, these are beautiful cars, and they certainly give Brian's locomotive something to do for the day. These are both Tsunami uh, decoders, and they sound absolutely great. Our train is heading along the low line between Everett and uh, Seattle. Oops, we had our first little incident with that low coupler and had to start the train up again. These barrel ore cars were all built in the late 60s, early 70s, and mainly used in Canada. But like I said, once in a while I saw them uh, down here in the States hauling ore to Tacoma. So we're going to run them on this railroad. Nice little train, huh? Now we're coming around past Muckleteo and heading along the shoreline south towards Seattle. I think we have a wheel out of gauge. That one car derailed again, so we had to. Uh, Put it back on the end of the track, as you can see there. One of the things I like that Brian did was to put super bright LED headlights in these two locomotives.
That switch on the left is a cutoff to the Fremont branch. And now we head over the Salmon Bay Bridge number four towards Inner Bay Yard. I haven't inspected or weathered these cars yet, so you can look forward to that in the future sometime. These ore loads from British Columbia would normally have run in the regular merchandise freights that came down from Vancouver, BC. That baggage car looks pretty cool, but it does interfere with the view, doesn't it? It's a little better from this angle. Pretty nice. It's very good. Well, that brings you to the end of this little operation. A couple of beautiful locomotives with some beautiful freight cars. With that, I hope you'll look at the other videos on my channel, and this is Burr Stewart wishing you much fun with trains.